In this video, we'll talk about how to find the area between two curves. So the setup might look something like this. We've got two functions, y equals f of x and y equals g of x, and we've got an area that's bounded between those two curves from some starting point A to some ending point B. And what we want to figure out is the area of that shaded orange region. But what we can see here is that the area that we're interested in is actually a difference of two areas. If we simply found the area under the curve y equals f of x, we would get this blue area down here, all the way down to the x-axis. But that includes some area that we don't want. But the area that we don't want is exactly the area under the curve y equals g of x. So all we need to do is find the area under the curve f of x, find the area under the curve g of x, and subtract those, and the difference will be the area that we want. Written as integrals, we simply need to integrate f of x from a to b, and integrate g of x from a to b, and subtract. But one nice property of integrals is that in fact we can subtract the functions, and then integrate the difference, and that'll give us the same thing. So let's do an example. We want to find the area of the region bounded by the curves y equals x squared plus 1 and y equals 2x plus 1. So there are a few things we need to know before we can set up the integral to find the answer to this question. We need to know which function is on top, so that we need to know which function is our f of x and which function is our g of x. And we also need to know where the functions cross each other, so that we know where the starting and ending points are for our integral. So the way that we're going to figure all that stuff out is by drawing a picture. We're going to sketch the curve y equals x squared plus 1, and sketch the curve y equals 2x plus 1, and we get a picture that looks a little something like this. To find the intersection points, we set the two curves equal to each other and solve. When we do that, we get two solutions, x equals 0 and x equals 2. And that helps us locate the points where these functions cross. Notice that I've put question marks in for the y-coordinates of those points, because I don't really care what the y-coordinates of those points are. What I really needed to know was the x-coordinate. It wouldn't be hard to figure out the y-coordinate, it's just not necessary to solve this problem. So we've got our integral. We're going to start at 0 and end at 2, and from the picture we can see that the line y equals 2x plus 1 is the function that's on top, and the parabola y equals x squared plus 1 is on the bottom. Finally, all that's left to do is integrate. We subtract our functions, we find our antiderivative, we plug in, we subtract, and our final answer is 4 thirds.